The Sports Time Podcast. Now, as we jump onto the NBA uh, draft, of course, Cade Cunningham goes number one overall. How well do you think he'll do in his first year in Detroit? Because it seems like everybody, like any, any just in any type of sport in general, everybody goes to die when they go to Detroit. How well do you think Cade Cunningham will do with the Pistons in his first year? I think he'll keep his head above water. I mean, this is a guy, he's got do-it-all ability. I mean, he can play inside, he can play outside. Got phenomenal pa- passing ability. He's going to be an astronomical passer at the next level. And I think, you know, the Detroit Pistons, they have a roster that's good enough for him to operate. Maybe they make it to the postseason. Not exactly sure just yet. We still have to see who else they add in free agency and, you know, the rest of this offseason and everything. But I feel like Kay Cunningham has a very bright future in Detroit. Yeah, and it seemed like at first I was just shocked that Detroit got the number one overall pick because almost in every draft lottery, they always get screwed, them and the Knicks, it seems like. Right. But um, I think Cade Cunningham is going to be really good. Do you think he'll win rookie of the year this year? Yeah, I, I think he'll definitely be the front runner. I mean, I like guys like Jalen Green, Jalen Suggs, even Scotty Barnes out of Toronto. But I think Cade Cunningham will definitely run away with it. I mean, he's probably got the best um, fit as far as like in, in correlation with his game compared to all the other lottery picks and prospects in the, throughout this entire NBA draft. But yeah, I think Cade Cunningham definitely runs away with it. Um, who do you think Cade Cunningham in the NBA today, who do you think he resembles the most? Uh, I mean, there's, there's actually a number of comparisons you can throw out there. I mean, we've also, we've all heard a lot about Luka Doncic and everything, but I think he takes a little bit of beat, bits and pieces from, you know, a ton of guys. I think he's got a little bit of Chris Middleton to his game. Not very athletic, but, you know, he does his due diligence when it, when it comes to scoring the basketball. And then, obviously, we talked about Luka Doncic, you know, that comparison. Um, I think those guys have similarities when it comes to their passing ability. And then I think he doesn't necessarily play like Jason Tatum to a certain degree, but I think there are hints in, you know, areas in his game that could be similar. And then I feel like he also has a, a, a similar body type. You know, whenever he fills up his body, when it comes to, you know, strength and condition and everything, I think we're going to see the similarities there. But, I mean, Cade Cunningham, he's going to be a phenomenal prospect in his first year in the NBA. Yeah, I think if he can resemble any of those, at least early in his career, if he can just resemble some of those, like, or at least half of what those players are, because if he does that, the Pistons will be somewhat good. And, of course, they have to give him some – talent he doesn't have a lot of options right now but I feel like maybe in a few years the Pistons if they surround the right talent around Cade Cunningham they can be good and maybe be contenders in the east um you just see them making a postseason this year by any chance I don't think so um I know the east isn't as good as the west but I just can't really see the Pistons I think they're still a year or two away from actually making it um but I think it's going to be a few years before they actually get into the playoffs. And, of course, it'll be a few years after that until they can get it contenders. It just depends on what they can do in free agency, I think. So if you can actually lure people to Detroit, which is going to be hard. So <laughs> Right. Thanks for listening to the Sports Town Podcast or the STP Pod for short. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and much more. Also, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Sports Town Podcast. If you want to check out more videos of the Sports Town Podcast, click on the right.